Hello and welcome to this inaugural episode of Knowing ServiceNow. My name is Neil Laufenberg. I'm creating this web series in an attempt to help educate new users to ServiceNow. Uh, I get a lot of requests, even from not new users, who uh, are looking for ways to get around the system or don't understand some of the key navigation features in the system. And I'm hoping uh, some short web episodes, uh, videos can help people um, get up to speed on the system very quickly. So today I intend to cover options around the left nav as well as some basic lift list navigation functionality. So as you can see I'm logged into the system right now. Uh, the left nav is the portion of the screen on the left here with the type filter text box at the top. The way the type filter text box works is anything that you type in the box is filtered in the list below. So it's a very quick way to get at what you're looking for. So if you're looking for changes, for example, you can be get brought to the change section. Uh, incidents, same thing. Problem, CMDB, uh, etc. So uh, whatever options you have there based on your security are available to be searched on. Um, so let's look at some list options now. So let's go into the incident section and let's look at all incidents. So you can see I've been brought a list of all incidents in the system. And you can see there are 61 of them in this demo instance. Some of the key features here that are not immediately apparent are very, very useful. So you have the ability to filter things in or out of this list directly on the list. To do that, simply right click on an item. So in here I've right clicked on software under category. And let's say I want to filter software out. You'll know that software is no longer in the list. So let's say I wanted to filter something in, you would do the exact opposite, which is show matching instead of filter out. So you can see here now that there are five network incidents in the system. This filtering is uh, tracked in the breadcrumb trail at the top. So you can uh, click on various items to add or remove them from the filter list here. Or uh, I find it simpler to actually expand the filter list by hitting the little black arrow in front of it. And from here, you can add or remove additional conditions. So let's, let's remove these last two that I added. And let's add one for, I want to see all of the tickets for the caller that where the caller is Joe employee. So hit add. Select the field of caller. We want to say the caller is, is the same thing as equals. Joe employee. And once you've done that, you have to hit run to make it happen. So you can see there we have 12 tickets for Joe employee. Now, let's say I want to use this filter again in the future. It's something that I want to do frequently for my daily work. To do that, go back into the filter section and hit the save button. Here you'll note that it's defaulted to you based on your security, They're based on the security of this user. They can only save it for themselves. But let's say this is Joe Employee and save it. So now if I were to go back to the incident section for some reason, let me go back into all incidents, you'll see again we have the full list again. And if I want to use that filter, I go under incidents here at the very top, filters, and I select, excuse me, the name of the filter, Joe Employee. Very useful feature for getting around in the system. Um, another feature that's very valuable for most users is if uh, they want to get information out of the system, it can be a little bit um, hidden or confusing. So to export information from the system, right click the column header anywhere, any of the column headers, and go to export, and then you can pick your type of export, whether it's CSV, Excel, or PDF. So let's just choose, choose a PDF here, one here to show you. It will export it, and I hit the download button, and it makes it available for me to view. And you can see it here. Well, I want to thank you for your time today. I intend to make several of these webisodes going forward for basic functionality in, in the system. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please post them below on the posting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if this is something that you find valuable. And if you have any topics for future discussion that you would like me to cover, please let me know. Thanks.